So we are branching out now uh, with the reviews of things that we don't know anything about. And uh, we're... We in- just... It's not that we don't... I'm here. <laughs> Hello. It's not that we don't know anything about them. We haven't had a chance to experience the particular thing we're going to review. And we don't think that is going to really hinder us from yes. having a strong opinion. And so we only know it secondhand, I guess, is what right, I should exactly. say. Right, versus, versus directly. Uh, but we're going to include restaurants now. Um and uh, we're going to talk about Per Se, uh, which is a fancy, it's a Thomas Keller restaurant in the Time Warner Center. If you're a foodie, certainly you've heard of it. Just scoring reservations there, for me, was like, the party began at that point. Now, it was a special occasion. It was my 45th birthday. <laughs> and I only wanted to go somewhere where they were going to take care of the most minute detail and they did the way they came by and they swabbed my hands themselves with and then dunked my hand in a bowl with, of lemon with water. lemon juice yeah no lemon water juice. no water lemon yeah. juice and it was then, it was the juice of 20 different kinds of lemons it was meyer it was, lemons it was a blend yellow lemons and each with their own cleaning Green properties lemons. yeah exactly. organic cleaning my properties it was never, all natural hands, no pesticides ever touched the lemons. It, or, yeah, it was organic all or the way through. Or my hands. Through. But then, then they said that we should wash our hands off with pesticides after, so that was kind of weird. But you know, I it was, was weird. I was but okay you know what it. I noticed is that there were no insects <laughs> on my hands all the way home, and they looked beautiful it's and true. shiny. <laughs> and they all ran out of my apartment when I got home, so that was great. Right, but but from insects back to the food. Sure. Um, <laughs> the amuse bouche, which was which it was, was um, insects actually, so it was a perfect segue. It or was did, lobster. did you not it have the lobster. grasshopper? Okay. No, it was lobster, which is the insect of the sea. I get them. I my, get them confused a lot. It amused my bouche, a lot. Everyone enjoyed that. I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then, a word on the service, and I know another word on the service. The things that they—it's like a ballet. The way they all come out, and then they they lift the domes off your plates at the same time, and then like. If you eat, like, one hair on your nose, you could be like that, and, like, a man will come by and just brush it right off. <laughs> and then he'll caress your neck a little bit. And, um, <laughs> and you can tell him when to Wait, stop. Wait, that didn't happen to me, what? <laughs> no, no, actually it did. And then he, uh, he licked it gently. <laughs> <laughs> he will gently <laughs> apply the tiniest bit of pressure with his tongue to your neck while you're dining. Yes. It's, um... But what I Curious. thought was less successful was uh, Thomas Keller's, you know, continual attempts to reinvent uh, you know, familiar foods from your like childhood. Ra- like ravioli. The yeah. ravioli was weird. <clears throat> ravioli. The way the insides ravioli. were on the outside. Like, yeah, like the reinterpreted mac and cheese. Where, I mean, mac and cheese is delicious, but then, but like the essence of mac and cheese he was going for, which was like cheese curds with like sprigs of mint and then, and like truffle oil. It was, it just... Yeah. It sank under the weight of too much fennel. <laughs> fennel and ill portent. Yes. I just, you know, some things, you know, defy reinterpretation. They just, they only can be, you know, uh, interpreted, but not reinterpreted. Right. Right. You just get a congealed mess with fennel. On the t- fennel and <clears throat> dashed dreams. Um <laughs> The desserts. Let's talk about the desserts for a minute, shall yes, we? Or did quickly. you want to spend any time on the salad? Uh, I spent very little time on the no, salad yeah. at the restaurant. Oh, I know, so, right? you know, yeah. so why do well, it here? You know why do it yeah, here? I don't think they spent much time on it either. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. High five. Okay. Um, then, the, then the desserts. <laughs> The, the desserts, however, were were rich and plentiful, and um, and I like that they placed them directly um, <laughs> on uh, on my tongue. Not ju- but it wasn't just you know like I was being fed like out of a bad you know like romantic comedy. But but they explained that they were putting it on the segment of my tongue with the taste buds that were going to interact with that dessert. So that was you know and and I could tell if they put it somewhere else, it would have tasted wrong. See, and I opted for something a little more unique which is that i asked them to chew it first and then <laughs> spit it into my mouth like a baby bird but but to spit it right into the the part of my tongue that like like right. bit like i had a, a coffee um 
D- that was that was tempting, but I didn't want to pay the extra twenty dollars <laughs> for that option. It was like you know getting the wine flight with the meal, like the pre digestion. I was like, I was you know I'm trying to be on a budget this year. Right, so. it was the pre disgust. <laughs> pre- I'm trying to I'm trying to make a pretentious. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for <clears throat> saving me from that. Um, degustation. It was not having to chew was liberating. Yeah. And at the end, you, you've, you've chewed the whole meal, and then at dessert, you're just, you're done with it. You right, just, you just want You just want to sit s- slack-jawed. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Well, a man you don't know well spits food into the quadrants of your tongue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And still, the aim, impeccable, even with that service. Right. I mean, they are the training That's that second That's why to they're none. the best. Yeah. Do, should we, do we even want to talk about the bill? It was uh, it was steep, like you'd expect. Sure, sure. And, you know, the fact that it needed to be on handmade paper that they actually pressed at your table, mm-hmm. I just thought that was, you know, it showy. was... It was showy. And, and the fact that you knew that that was actually increasing the bill, the bill right. itself was the bi- increasing right, exactly. the bill. There was something, you something, know, un- um, unsavory about that. Yeah, it did, it did left a bad taste in my mouth. I mean, no pun. <laughs> I did try to eat it actually <laughs> yeah. to tie the evidence, you know. But they but, do send you so, but, home with. But but it was cake. flavored. They thought of that. If you if you tried to eat it, it still worked out. They you know they they uh, there was nothing um, overlooked about any aspect of it. So I'll give them credit for that. I, I give it um, you know uh, four and a half fennel sprigs. I gave it five wrenches out of six. <laughs> I, I there you go. 